and full throttle. Uh, what? There we go. Here we are. Always a great moment. Always a great moment. Here we're going. Second attempt towards Azat. Second attempt. Lift off. Lift off. I took no time at all. That was maximum 20 meters. 20 meters of run up before the airplane lifted off the ground. Thank you, and everything looks good from our side. Oui. ça a l'air pas mal depuis là. C'est marrant, hein, ce vent droite qu'il avait là. Ouais. The proposed flight plan again. Comme tu m'avais dit, hein, son, son plan. Heading this time over the coast. Ouais. Over the coast and over the sea. So André will fly about 10 miles off the coast, over the water, down to Essaouira, at maximum 600 meters, 2,000 feet above sea level, in order to take the benefit from the northeast wind that is blowing at low level. And this should bring him quite fast to Essaouira. And from there, uh, or maybe even a little bit earlier, depends on the, the speed, the mission control center will tell him to turn left, that means to the southeast, to reach Marrakech, or south, south of Marrakech. And at that time he would be climbing. He would be climbing quite fast to uh, 8,500 meters because he has to go over the atlas. I hope there won't be too much CBs, huh? the cumulonimbus clouds. Uh, when I came uh, with solar impulse from Spain to Rabat, all the atlas was covered with these huge uh, thunderstorm clouds. But from what we heard, uh, today should be much drier, much more stable, and uh, he should be above all these clouds. So everything looks extremely good. And I have to say that last week we were a little depressed after the first attempt because we didn't see any weather window coming. And uh, again, Luke found just the right weather window that we could take. All the hope came back, everybody's thrilled. But the first time there was less suspense because we were on the trend of a lot of success. This time after the first failure, I have to say that there's a big suspense and I really hope it will, it will go well. Especially knowing how many people are waiting for us in, uh, in Wazazat. It's not just a, a technical flight. It's a flight that brings the airplane to this special place where we have a lot of cities, a lot of tribes also, who are waiting for this plane with a lot of enthusiasm. It, it's crazy. You know, every day there are people from all the local villages who call the airport and say, oh, I saw solar impulse coming. And they say, no, it's not solar impulse, it's a glider. No, it's a normal airplane. No, you will see. When solar impulse is coming, you will notice. It's really strange. And all these people are, are saying, as soon as the plane comes, we'll come down the mountains and we'll come to the airport to, to see it and to, to greet it. So it's going to be fabulous and I so much hope that we're going to make it today. So entire villages are emptying to come down to see the airplane? They will. They will. They said, they said that they will. They will come down the mountains to, to see the plane. So there will be so many people disappointed if we cannot bring the plane. So I really hope it will work today. Well, we've been in Rabat for, for quite some time now. You must be pretty desperate to get in the plane yourself. Uh, well, you know we're flying one after the other. So I made such a beautiful flight coming from Spain to here. I was so happy. I was elated. So now I think it's good to have Audrey's turn to make a, a flight like that. And when will you get back in the plane? 
Uh, I come back either to fly Wazaza to Rabat or Rabat to Madrid. We will see exactly according to different criteria. Well, as we've been speaking, the distance, uh, <laughs> and we can still just see it now. He's going to turn left. He's going to turn left in a couple of minutes in order to take the direction of the sea.